In this tutorial, I'm going to show you how to make this easy countdown timer in Premiere Pro. If you are new to the channel, I upload weekly Premiere Pro tutorials, so make sure to subscribe and hit the bell so you don't miss out. On the timeline right now, I have a 25 second clip and this is the length of the timer that we're going to create and you can make the timer how long or how short you want but in this case we're going to count down from 25 seconds so let's start making the timer the first thing we're going to do is to go down to new item transparent video and make sure that the time base is the same frames per second that your sequence is in this case it's 24 fps and then click OK. And then we can drag the transparent video on top of the clip and extend it all the way to the end. Now this will be the total length of our timer. And then we're going to go up to effects and we're going to search for time code. Drag the time code on top of your transparent video and you will get this appearing on your video. And right now, this represents the hour, minute, seconds, and frames of your timer. But we're going to modify this. So go into Effect Controls. And we can uh, choose to scale it up. So we're going to scale it up a little bit right here. And we can move it around as well. So about in the middle is uh, good, I think. But I want to get rid of this black rectangle. So what we're going to do is to lower the opacity to zero. But if you want, you can change this however you want. But I'm going to leave it at zero. This is the fill symbol and we can just click this to remove it. At the format settings, we're just going to leave it at SMPTE. But we're going to change the time code source from media to generate. The next step is to get rid of the hour and the frames. So we're going to go to effects and we're going to search for crop. Drag the crop on top of your transparent video and go into effect controls and go all the way down to crop. Select crop in your effect controls and we're just going to drag these blue handlebars so we get rid of the hour and get rid of the frames. And now we are left with this. The only problem we have right now is that this is counting up and we want it to count down. And to change this to count down, we need to right click on the transparent video and click next. You will get this dialog box right here, but we're just going to click okay. And then we're going to right click on the nested sequence and we're going to select speed and duration and we're going to reverse the speed and then click OK. And now we have this countdown. On the screen right now, I have another video that you can check out and make sure to subscribe so you don't miss out on future Premiere Pro tutorials. Thank you so much for watching. I will see you in the next video.